Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about monohybrid cross. This is looking at Mendel's experiment. Now, even now we are dealing with the same experiment which Mendel performed. So first we understood the experiment, then we talked about the dominance and recessiveness. Then we spoke about the phenotypes, genotypes. Now we are going to talk about monohybrid cross. This is nothing different. We will do the same thing, just that a different name. So why this different name? Because later more experiments were performed considering more than one gene. So not only one trait but other traits were also considered. So those crosses were named as dihybrid cross. So that is why this was called monohybrid cross. Mono means one. Right? Cross means you already know. Hybrid means something which is produced as a mixture of two. So monohybrid cross. It means crossing between organisms that differ in one trait. So we just consider one trait. For example, the experiment which Mendel had performed, he took tall plants and dwarf plants and crossed them. Now he didn't bother where, what was the color of their seeds, what was the shape of their seeds, what was the color of their flowers. He was not bothered about all the other traits. The only trait he was looking at was the height the height of the plant. So whether the plant is tall or the plant is dwarf. So he performed those experiments irrespective of the other traits. So that kind of a cross is known as a monohybrid cross. Now when we talk about any type of cross that is cross is nothing but sexual reproduction between or fertilization between the male and the female gamete. So that the entire thing is crossing. The steps which are involved in any crossing is formation of gametes. First of all, the parents, both the parents will have to produce their own gametes. So one male gamete, one female gamete has to be produced. And then what will happen? Formation of the zygote. How the zygote will be formed? When the gametes will fuse together. So when the gametes fuse together, zygote will be formed. So these are the basic steps involved in any crossing we talk about. Whether we talk about a monohybrid cross or we talk about a dihybrid cross. So everywhere we will have these same basic steps. So now the question is how these steps are executed. How gamete formation take place? We have already discussed gametogenesis in detail in our uh, previous lessons, right? So for gametogenesis, what happens? Meiosis. Because meiosis is the reduction division where haploid cells are produced and gametes are all haploid. Whether you talk about a male gamete or a female gamete, they are haploid. So if you want to produce haploid cells from diploid cells, we need meiosis. So meiosis will happen. And then what will happen? These alleles will segregate and one allele will give rise to each gamete. So in case right now I am talking about monohybrid cross. So in monohybrid cross, what happens? Only one trait is being considered. So when you consider one trait, what happens? Let us suppose this is one trait. This is another trait. So this is from, taken from one parent. This is taken from one parent. Now what will happen? These two alleles will segregate. And then each of these alleles will give rise to the gamete. So gamete formation will take place. Again, these alleles will combine with the alleles of the other parent and that is how fusion will take place. So that is how gamete formation will take place. So right now it is only for monohybrid. What will happen if it is not monohybrid? If more than one trait is being considered, in that case again we will see how the gametes are being formed. So we will talk about dihybrid cross a little later. Right now we are talking only about the monohybrid cross. After that what will happen? Fusion of the gametes. So the gametes will fuse together. Fusion of the gametes here means the fusion of the alleles. Because here we are talking in terms of alleles and genotypes and phenotypes because those are the things which we are talking about in genetics. So in genetics how fusion of gametes will happen? By fusion of the alleles. So these alleles will fuse together not with themselves of course because they segregated from the same parent. There will be another parent. So it will fuse, the alleles will fuse with the alleles of the other parent and that is how fusion will take place. The zygote will be formed. And what is zygote? Zygote is the cell, diploid cell which is formed as a result of 
fertilization so basically you see the process of sexual reproduction even now remains the same it is just that meiosis take place but it takes place at the level of the alleles and the chromosome so we are just talking at a different level but the concept is still the same even now the fusion of the gametes happen to form a zygote so here also the alleles will first segregate then give rise to gamete then again the alleles will fuse together and that is how fusion will take place so now what we will do we will perform the same experiment of Mendel's the Mendel's first experiment which we had discussed some time back the same experiment we will see but we will see it from the point of view of a mono hybrid cross that how the gametes are being formed how the fusion is taking place how the zygote is being formed so we will look at it from that perspective so let us look at the same Mendel's experiment from a different perspective so what did Mendel do? He took tall plants and crossed them with dwarf plants. So what were the tall plants like? This is how the tall plants were and this is how the dwarf plants were because he took homozygous tall and homozygous dwarf. Now this is the parental generation that is these are the parents right. Now the next step that has to happen is formation of gametes right and for formation of gametes what will happen? the alleles will segregate. Now here both the alleles are the same. So what can it give? It can only give capital T. So it can only give small t. So segregation has happened and that is how gamete formation has taken place. Now the next step is fusion. So fusion between the male gamete and the female gamete. So this is a male gamete. Now all possible fusion that can take place here is this can fuse with this, this can fuse with this, this can fuse with this or this can fuse with this. Now since here they are both homozygous, therefore the result in all these cases are the same. So this is the result. So what is this? These are nothing but a zygote. Right? So these are the zygotes which are being formed and this will gradually grow to form new plants. Right? So they, these, that, that is what happens in case of uh, human beings also. A small zygote is formed which is a single cell structure. Then it undergoes repeated division and gradually it forms a small baby and that baby gradually grows into an adult. So in a very similar way here also these plants will gradually grow to form bigger plants and then again they will be capable of reproduction. So this is how a monohybrid cross takes place. Right? Okay. So now, in order to know, now what are we basically doing here? We are basically trying to see all the possible options or all the possible outputs of fusion between these gametes. Correct? That is what we are trying to do. Now, in order to make things simple, now here we have taken a very simple example. That is, when a homozygous tall is being crossed with a homozygous dwarf. But everywhere that will not be the scenario. In some cases, the crosses are quite complicated. In some cases, they are not monohybrid cross also. They can be dihybrid cross. They can even be trihybrid cross where you have three different traits, where you have four different traits or five different traits. So you can make things as much complex as you want, right? But you need a solution for that because if it is very simple, you can just do it like this. But if it becomes complex, then maybe you might need a technique to make it simple. So that is why. A Thank you. Please visit www.examclear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.